Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Photoshop and gradient overlays via layer styles. So I'm just gonna just see here, layer style, I'm just gonna remove that now. What I've got here is just a basic shape. So I'm just gonna create any shape or you've got maybe an image or something as a layer, that's the key thing. So ellipse, just as reasonable. So shape layer, what you can do, you can add layer styles to it. And in particular, you can add multiple gradient styles. So layer, layer style, and go down to a gradient overlay. You'll notice there's only just one gradient overlay there. But what you can do once you're inside, you can see you've got that gradient added there very quickly. And a variety of different gradients can be found. You can find many on the Graphic Extras website. Also, of course, you can find many on the web as well as that come with Photoshop. So maybe you go for like blues. There you've got a nice blue gradient overlay. And you can set all various things, blending modes, etc., radial. So you can go for linear if you want. However, what you can do, you can also add another one, or two, or three, or four, five, or six. What you need to do is simply go here, just a little plus at the side. As soon as you do that, you'll notice you get gradient overlay added there. Exactly the same. So at this point, not very much different, but what you can do, you can select that one, the one that's over on top of the existing one there. If you go up there now, what you can do, and just go for something else so you can really see a change. We can see, oh, it's not particularly much of a gradient. There's a gradient there. Or maybe one of the gradients from here, like that. So you can see now you've got two gradients. Now this one is on top of this one. So you can add, every time you add, You'll just click there plus and it will add on top and you can then can keep adding more and more however you think well well that's, what use is that because now i can't see my previous gradient overlay which is obviously not very helpful if that's what you want you can always remove it as well of course you can simply just get rid of it just by doing that or just going down here and deleting it while you've got it selected you can delete so just simply click there and it will be deleted however what you can do you've got blending modes as well as opacity. So you can actually just change the opacity. So you can see now you've got that blue coming through. Obviously it's at about 36%. You can obviously keep that there. You can also use maybe a blending mode of difference or something. And you can see depending on what you've got below. So if you go to the gradient overlay, it will, as soon as you change, it will go to that gradient overlay. And you can then select maybe a different design. So with that one, and also of course what you can do, while that one's selected, while this gradient overlay is selected, you can move the underlying design and you can also modify the scale, etc. So you can just keep doing that, move that around. And you can see then, I say, that's still normal. If you change that to something else, that will obviously, depending on what's below that, will be modified as well. You can see changes there, but it's just normal at the lowest level. So I've got gradient overlay there, but I can change that again. I can go to a different gradient, that gradient, or maybe select exactly the same gradient, or go to another gradient there. And so, so if you want to add another gradient, simply go click plus there, and slightly odd that in sense it just keeps it, obviously it really is more like a duplicate than anything else. So you've got, because you've got the same settings, you've got difference, you've got exactly the same as before. Not really just a plus, it's a, Duplicate. So what you can then do, of course, you can change that and maybe go for maybe not those ones, maybe green, and you can see, and then you can go maybe go for hard light or something else. So you can create some vast number of different designs for that gradient there, for that object. Once you're finished, you can click OK. However, before you do that, what you do if you like that, if you really love that design and you want to maybe apply it to something else. So you want to go think, you know what, I want to apply it to a square or another shape or an image. What you can do, you've got new style. So you can always click there, new style, and you can call it gradient style one, and that will be saved to your style presets. So you can use it, you can go to your style presets, that's window and styles, and you can use it there. So click okay, and you see you've got your design there. So if I remove that, Let's go and create another shape. Now, when you go back, of course, you've got the basic thing. There's no style attached to it. So again, if you want to add it, you can go to layer, layer style, and you can go down to 
gradient overlay layer. And you can see what happens. It just defaults to the basic level gradient. It doesn't remember all the other ones. So what you can do, you can always go there and you can still, they're still there. So you can just click and bring them back. And then you've got it there as well. Maybe slightly different design, but you can of course modify it and tweak it because obviously it depends on scale and all those sort of things. Yeah, change different settings there. And of course, always you can always add, and you can add others as well, color overlay as well. Sadly, no pattern overlay. But again, if you want to add another gradient, so go to that one, click plus, and then you've got another one exactly the same. And you can then go down your list of gradients. Uh, let's just go down to there and choose another one. And you can see you can create a real combination of super colors with your design there. Sadly, and I don't know why, I wish they would change that, but it's set to 150. Never understood why there's a limitation. You can't put 400 or 500. Not certain why it should be, because you should be able to expand it out as far as possible. You should be able to extend it out because you might only want that little bit of the gradient. So a bit baffling. It's a feature that's been there for since whenever, when it obviously they introduced this feature. Now, what you can do, let's say window, and you've got styles. So I just want to quickly show you before I finish. There's that style that I saved earlier from that layer style with the multiple gradient overlays. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Photo, and many others. Also, if you've got any comments about maybe I didn't explain something well, please put it in the comments. Always appreciate it. Because sometimes I think, you know, maybe they didn't understand or whatever. Who knows? Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.